welcome to FEMS 2019. We're in the FEMS 2021 booth, and I have with us Sarah Vetstadt, who has been presenting her research here at FEMS, but is also one of our journal social media editors for our journal FEMS Microbiology Letters. So she, she helps us with social media in general, but you've also been here as a working scientist to present your own research. So do you mind giving me a small introduction to yourself and talking a bit about your background and perhaps a bit of your research agendas? Yes. Hi, Joe. I'm Sarah. I'm originally from Germany and I did my PhD in London until last year at Imperial College and now I work in Granada in Spain, which is awesome. It's sunny and now I come here to Glasgow and it's and raining, raining the and whole it's time, dark. But, you know, uh, it's a nice like change it. perhaps. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice. No, no, no. Um, so yeah, I'm here to present my research, to learn about other people's research and also now as Joel said, I'm kind of hovering around and covering the social media coverage of the FEMS So you've conference. been doing lots of our Instagram stories and also writing yes. a few tweets perhaps now and again. Yes, I yeah. did. So I did the Instagram stories and I love it. It's fun. I can just like go around, take pictures, put it up yeah. online. It's like a little sort of eyeballs inside the conference that just feed out information. Yes, it's lovely. Exactly. Yeah. I like it. And people are following, people are commenting and yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's good. And uh, so you presented your research today and yes. it was on cell surface signaling. Yes. Would you mind just giving a little bit of an in-depth but not too in-depth, but just a little bit of an overview of what your research was about. Okay, so we look at how Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is one of the most important human pathogens, is reacting to iron, um, iron limitations. Because, you know, when it's infecting our blood, there's no iron, there's no free iron anymore. So Pseudomonas aeruginosa still wants to survive within our blood, even though there's no iron anymore. So it's trying to suck up all the available iron, but then it also needs to let the cell know, hey, we have iron here somewhere. So I'm looking at how the signal of iron limitation, but also iron availability is being transmitted into the cytosol. Okay, so they can say to all of their fellow cells out there of the same species, there's no iron. I don't even look at the communication to other cells. Okay. I basically just, just it, look at what is happening within one cell. Okay. Yeah. So it's telling itself inside there's no exactly. iron. Exactly, okay. yes. Good. Yes. Um, okay, so uh, my next question for you then, and I might know the answer because you've just spoken about a microbial research, but what's your favorite microbe and why? Oh, it's not actually Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Oh, it's a different one. Fantastic, oh, yeah. even better. I I wouldn't say I have one favorite bug. It's just like all the weird bacteria that can live in extreme environments. So all those extremophiles and yeah. the ones that find themselves in really hot places or acidic places. Exactly. Okay. Or like in volcanoes where you think like, how can something, anything survive there? Or as I learned today in sponges in deep water seas, like how can anything survive down there? Yeah. It must and be like I cold and dark and why? <laughs> how? <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. And there's even ones that live hundreds of meters below the Earth's surface, right, where the mantle gets really hot, and you even have, apparently, microbes living that far down under the crust. I haven't looked at this yet, but it sounds okay. amazing. Yeah. I learned about the permafrost survivors yesterday, which are, yeah, like, 60 meters down the Earth, like, in Siberia, where it's, like, bloody cold and... Buried like, in pressurized sea ice, just like, yeah. what are you doing there, and how yeah. are you surviving? And, yeah, and, yeah, exactly, how and why and what? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Awesome, okay. Um, well then, so just to think about how microbiology can influence worldwide affairs, um, what one piece of microbiological knowledge do you think that everybody in the world should know about? Ooh, yeah, it kind of goes along with the first um, answer, like okay. bacteria are bloody awesome, they can survive anywhere, yeah. whether it's cold, whether it's too hot, whether it's, I don't know, toxins around or radioactivity, mm. they can just do anything. So just the diverse hardiness of yes. them. Yeah, okay. I find that truly amazing, yes. And it is amazing, yeah. Um, okay, so then uh, my final question is, um, who is your microbiological hero and why? My hero? Oh, maybe my first microbiology professor who kind of got me hooked into the whole bacterial world, who was just like sitting there giving us lecture and talking about what microbes can do. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And everybody else around was like, oh my God, I just want to go home and want to have a coffee. What the heck? Yeah. OK, so who was that lecturer? Um, Professor Michael Hecker from okay. Greifswald, from Germany. Yeah. Yes. And what was his uh, speciality? What was the part of microbiology he looked at? Physiology. How can bacteria adapt to certain environments? OK, so there's yes. a nice thread of <laughs> exactly. consistency there here through all of your <laughs> yeah. Yeah, answers. Lovely. OK. 
Well, yeah, thank you for joining me in the booth, Sarah. It's thank been wonderful you. to chat about extremophiles and just the hardiness of these bacteria and yes. a little bit about your research. Thank you so much for helping with the Femme social media. You're it's welcome. been amazing. I like it. Uh, you can follow Sarah Vetstat at, at Bacteria Bommel on yes. Instagram and yes. is it at Dr. Bommel on Twitter? Yes, yes. exactly. Okay, well so we'll tag it as well underneath. So follow Sarah if you can. You also run a blog. Yes, I do. A science communication blog. I write about bacterial world and what they can do like for lay terms so everybody can read it, everybody can awesome. should read it. And they and should learn know. something new. Yeah, okay. Again, enjoy the rest of the conference yes, and uh, hopefully if you can't join us here, you can join us at FEMS 2021 in Hamburg. Uh, and I just want to thank you again for being here and giving us some lovely answers. Thank you. No worries.